What the heck? What the heck, guys? <laughs> we can get away. Good morning, sir. That nice fire? Stop talking, you're not mic'd. Shut your mouth! Hey, where's the mic at? Thanks, Chad. What's my excuse? Yeah. Um, you know, man, whenever your car breaks down, you just gotta, you gotta make do. I had uh, a bike, but the tires were flat on it. I had um, a scooter, but there was a wheel missing, so I couldn't do that. So I settled on my unicycle. And then I had like a 50 fire extinguishers in my house. So I would get on my unicycle and I'd point the nozzle behind me and I would, uh, you know, grab one. The guys are gonna be in the wood shop working on our process for making frames. Haven't totally proven to ourselves that making frames is something that we should do, but I would like to do it. So we're just gonna see how that goes. Who made this? Me. You made this entire thing? Basically, I mean. He drew those. Really? You're talented. That's impressive, <laughs> man. Am I, being, am I being scammed right now? Yeah, you're being scammed. You didn't, you draw, didn't that. draw that, did no, you? No, you didn't draw that. I'm a fraud. If you drew that, he wouldn't be here. I'm a <laughs> I, I came Especially over to do like a close-up and everything. Which are you trying to do first, the half inch one? Yeah. Okay, yeah. This, these are the side pieces, so. Oh yeah. Hey Sam, where's the tape for the bar? Oh, in the uh, truck. Okay. Did my pull ups for the day. This is it. Yep, this is it. This is it's it. It's gonna be real pretty. Break this thing, Josh. You break this thing. You break this thing, Josh. <laughs> now someone grab his ankles and drop all your weight. See if we I can made it all dirty. Suiting up or just? We don't need to see that. This should be enough. Basically, you just want to make sure that it has, it's obviously sealing around your face. Mm -hmm. Try to keep your hair out of the way of the seal. Okay. And, uh, and then we'll test for positive and negative pressure. The big thing we are doing today is treating all the colonies with oxalic acid. It really should help our colonies a lot overall in terms of their health in the spring. So oxalic acid has only recently been approved in the U.S. for use on bees to kill these varroa mites. And despite looking really crazy and dangerous and having to wear a respirator and all that, it's actually supposed to be really gentle on the bees. It's actually also a natural substance and it is approved for certified organic production which we are not, just making the point that it's not a super scary chemical necessarily, you just have to treat it with respect. It is super scary for the mites, hopefully, you know. It might be awkward, but talk, you're gonna have to talk really loud when we're explaining stuff. That's fine, Chad, I'll try to do that. Huh? I'll try to do that. Can't hear you. I'll try to do that. Are you, are you whispering? Yeah, I'm whispering. <laughs> Basically, all you do is you put the battery in, you get this thing up to temperature, which it just did. 446. 446, wow. Yeah, that it's hot. pretty hot, and uh, and then you take your plunger here, and you fill it with the acid. When you're ready to go, which we are, you insert this plunger, and then depress the plunger, and you'll see the you'll see the effects here. I do know it's fairly fast acting. I'd expect those mites to have a really bad day starting now. How, why are the bees resilient compared to the mites? To the... Uh, I can't really answer that. To the best of my knowledge, the mode of action is not completely understood. We don't totally understand how the oxalic acid kills the mites, which is interesting. There's a lot of mysterious things in beekeeping, especially it seems. And uh, yeah, even the real smart people who study this stuff for a living, as of a couple weeks ago, they don't exactly know how it works on the mites, but they just know that it does. It is very effective as long as there isn't brood because this stuff doesn't go through wax cappings. You can see some of the bees came out. They look a little, a little sandy, but it should be all right. It's been used in Europe for quite a while. I don't know exactly how long. Uh, I want to say like 10 years, 15 years, but it's only recently been approved in this country. I've also read some things that say it probably is somewhat hard on them if you, you know, keep on hitting them, hard on the bees if you just keep on hitting them with it. So 
I still want to minimize the amount of times we're doing this. They're not flying right now very much. I mean, there are a little, there are a few bees flying, but for the most part, all the bees are in the colonies and there's no brood. And so I think we can get away with doing it twice. I like to do it once right now and then do it in about a month uh, in December. And I think that's, that should be fine. We already treated this year also with uh, Apivar. So I think these mites are gonna um, really take a hit and have a horrible, horrible life. So we'll see. Channels are cut now, the little slots where the actual bars sit. So now we're gonna put the ripping blade or the cutting blade or whatever you wanna call it back on and actually start uh, taking some pieces out of this. I could have also spent like two seconds looking for some better push sticks and not, you know. You mean like the one that came with the saw? Yeah, I could have used one that came with the saw that's like pretty nice. Nah, it doesn't really fit. In there. Nah, it doesn't fit. I'll set up for our next thing. Putting too much pressure on the back. Try to keep the pressure in the front. I'm about to start cutting to make the tops and bottoms. Hey, be careful. Hey, you watch. Hey, hey be hey, careful. You watch yourself over there. Do we have to plane those down at all? Or are they three quarter? I think they're three quarter, right? To, uh, Do you know what you're doing? <laughs> Who are you? Some might say perfection, but I say perfection because oh. that's stupid. Now you can set it to half inch. Tell me that ain't bloody toy thing. That's money, dude. Perfect. Yeah, five sixteenths should be your number. Huh? Singing? Oh. Man, did you like my singing? I, I was going nuts. Cause no one's mouth was moving. It's perfect. Yep. It's all you, princess. Oh, tagging in. That's how you tag? Yep. Let's give her a whirl. Ah. Hang on. You know how angry he would be if we, one of us did that? He's gonna walk back in here and he's gonna say, which one of you a-holes knocked over the boxes? Hey, I, just, I got some wood. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck, guys? <laughs> you have a spider on you? Yeah. Wow. Hey, whoever leaned a bunch of sheet material on top of these boxes. Not a good spot. I saw the camera. I saw the camera. As the stack fell, I saw the camera behind it. I was like, oh. Yep, there it is. Perfect. Again. <laughs> Alex. What's up? If you had done that. I'd probably get a nice stern talking to. No, I'm oh, saying. that's not even almost true. And then he would probably threaten to beat me up. <laughs> I would threaten to beat you up. Did I even give you a stern talking to when you put 
Mick, when you put oil in the gas tank of the chainsaw, the $2,000 chainsaw? Come on, man, we gotta bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty bad. We all make mistakes. Everyone. And it's okay, especially when it's my mistake. <laughs> you finish all these cuts? Yeah. There we go. Time to do this 10 million more times.